What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on Ethereum. I uh, wanted to do a quick update on that today because, uh, well, I cover it daily, so if you are interested in that, then uh, consider subscribing. But just in general, Ethereum as well, the, the market structure right now is quite interesting. I mean, first of all, volatility has still been very high. Um, you can see that, for example, if you compare these uh, moves that we have right now, with which we're trying to break above 1920, they're very, very different than the moves we had, for example, at the end of May and the beginning of, the beginning of June. So there is, still is quite a lot of momentum. But then if you take a look at the volume, that's actually quite low. I mean, if you, if you compare this volume with the, last, um, with the last month, even though the price is considerably more bullish than, for example, this period of time, kind of in the middle of June, the volume is still relatively the same. It's, it's going up right now as well, so we'll have to see where it ends up. I mean, at the beginning of the week, it always increases, of course. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting to, to take a look at, uh, at, at the market structure right now, so that's why I wanted to take a look at it as well. Uh, but before we dive into Ethereum, uh, I do want to say that I have my own trading signal group. So if you want to receive daily trading signals from me and join an amazing community of traders, then check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comment, and there you will find instructions on how to join. But now onto Ethereum. So right now what we're seeing is that, you know, we, we have this bullish momentum, right? We're actually making uh, higher lows. Perhaps we are, perhaps we have accelerated a little bit too fast, but that's, I mean, that rem re remains subjective. You cannot really make a statement about that, but basically... Uh, we gained most of this bullish momentum last week, Wednesday, and since then we've been consolidating between 1860 and 1920. What we want to do and what I, um, in the end, also expect is a breakout above 1920, after which we can actually get a move up to this level right here, around 2000. Uh, and 2000, it's a very strong level, first of all. It's a psychological level. We got a strong trend line there. So that would be my first price target. And from there, we'll see again. I mean, frankly... Uh, even though we have a trend line there and it's a very strong level, in the end, it's uh, in the end we, we are in an uptrend right now. So you know, uh, bearish or at least resistance levels are always weaker in an uptrend. So I we'll have to see then if we can break through that. Uh, but like I said, I actually do expect us to get there. Uh, the big question though is is when will that happen? Because at this point of time, like I said, we're forming some sort of a triple top right here. And I do think we are we are due for for some sort of a retracement. Uh, right now we have retraced to the two three six fib, and altogether we have actually remained quite bullish. Also, uh, while Bitcoin was remaining strong by uh, holding this level around thirty thousand four hundred, but, um, but but it's it's the question if we if we can also do that now at the beginning of the week. The beginning of the week, as most of you know, is a period of time where like big market makers and and institutional traders position themselves into in the markets we can assume that they actually bought right here in this rally. So now the big question is, is well, will they continue to buy and will they push the price up to 2000 and 2020? Or will they take some profits now and continue pushing a little bit later? And I think it's a bit more likely that they will take some profits. Uh, Bitcoin has rallied a massive amount for the last week and two days. Uh, in total, at the very top, we reached 26%, which is crazy for, for Bitcoin with its market cap. So that's why I think it's a, a bit more likely still that we'll actually find resistance here and drop down to this level right here around 1820 and 1800, which is a very strong support level. And from there, I think we'll actually find enough support to uh, to get back above 1860 then because we would have had a bearish breakout uh, under that. And then at some point also break above 1920 to move up towards that 2000 level. I think that's the most likely scenario at this point of time. But like I said, I mean, I could be wrong. You'll have to think like the institutions... I think they'll take some profits this uh, this Monday, but um, it could also very, very well be that they'll just continue pushing it. Uh, I do expect, for example, that Bitcoin at some point will push harder towards 32,000 and above that. So it's waiting for that, to be fair. I mean, I, I would stay out of it. I would either buy from this level if we get up there or take a quick short from this level if we get up there. Um, until that time, I'm probably out of Ethereum. But um, yeah, that's my take. That's my analysis for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.